it's Adele from um, Inky Quill and I'm here today at the Crafty Maven Getaway and I am making a mini album for Mix It Up Monday, something which I don't usually do. So first of all, I'm using this 4x4 album from um, We Are Memory Keepers and it's in this gorgeous turquoise and this album's for a dear friend. Um, I thought she could make a little my selfie scrapbook out of it. So I just went through some cards that I had lying around. You know, we all have those cards that we just, they just seem to find themselves onto our desk and not back into where they belong. So I went through some of those and also grabbed some of the Simple Stories I Am um, cards. And you saw the inspiration inspiration piece at the start. I thought the Inspire um, 4x4 cards here kind of went with that watercolor look that was on that door inspiration piece. and. Um, I didn't put it on camera of course but I made I wrapped it up and made the gift tag out of a paint chip which is um, the other inspiration piece so I'm just sticking whatever I like in this little album um, oh husband next to me is doing a bit of a dance what are you doing husband's making cookies mm, exciting anyway back to the scrapbooking Adele so here I'm just um, adding a few little embellishments so she can still add photos. I've made one of these before for myself and um, I really enjoyed having some things that were like out of the pocket. So not everything being in a page protector because I'm so used to my um, Project Life albums and my 12 by 12 albums, everything's in a page protector. There's nothing, you know, out and about and adventurous. So with these mini albums I love just like chucking a tag in just putting it on one of the rings I was really inspired by um, Stephanie Bryan who does work for Studio Calico she makes a mini album for every month of the year and so I was really inspired by some of the things that she did like adding little pockets in and um, flippy floppy tags and things so here this is I'm not going to go through every single little thing that I put in here because it really is an assortment of things from my stash um, these little flares I made myself I have a little um, epoxy sticker video over on my channel um, inky quill if you want to check that out and just adding cute little things like little wood veneers and tiny word stickers they I'm obsessed with both of those things you should know that if you know me um, and yeah I had I just had a lot of fun so I highly recommend just going for it and making one of these little albums because um, it was nice to get out of the pocket for something different. Mix it up, girls. Mix it up. Sorry, it's late and um, I need chocolate. That's pretty much what this boils down to. <laughs> Don't you ever get that th like that, though? It's just late at night and you just need that little sweet fix. Mm, this card, this is from the... Uh, we are memory no me and my big ideas um, pocket pages little pack that I got and I love it so a lot of things I added this frame just with washi tape so that she could pull it off put a photo behind it and I do back, go back through and embellish these this first step so step one is to pick an album step two I gathered um, some cards or papers I cut down some papers from six by six pads as well Step three, I gathered some embellishments and a hole punch. Can't do this without a hole punch. I just grabbed mine from $2 shop, nothing special. And then step, what am I up to? Five, I think. Um, grab some interesting little things. Stop laughing at me, husband. <laughs> um, he's laughing at me because he knows how late it is and how tired I am. And how loopy I am um, anyway step five that's what I'm up to is to grab some interesting things like pockets I grabbed some acetate which you'll see in a little while and I made my title page with it um, and just some fun little things and then step six go nuts S hole punch staple stick um, I also used a whole heap of overlays I've got a whole box of the project life overlays which just sit there doing nothing so I got some of those used because I thought it would be nice you could put um, a photo on one side and the other but still see through it so I tried look I'm an embellishment junkie and this album the girl who know who, who it's for I don't know how many photos she's gonna be able to stick in here because I did a lot of embellishing but I'm sure she'll be able to get at least 10 
<laughs> oh. um, so the first thing I did, I went through all of the cards and put them in and I thought, right, once I've got that done, then I can go a little bit pretty. So this is a acetate piece, a 12 by 12 piece that I cut down and I added that me gold glittery thicker from the, um, was from the open book Maggie Holmes collection and some gorgeous crepe paper tiny word stickers and wood veneer. Then that little um, tag says, I think it says a gift for you, my love. And I thought that was perfect because it is a gift. And I just hooked it through the top hole. Now here's the tip, put it through the top hole, top, what do you call those things, clips? We'll call them clips. Put it through the top clip ring. We'll call it a clip ring. Put it through the top clip ring because if you put it through the bottom one, it'll fall out. And then when you put it on your shelf, it will just always dangle and get wrecked. So if you're hanging anything by just one of them, just put it on the top. So punchy, punchy, adding some more cards because I can. Um, my camera did cut out, so I did embellish a little bit off camera. These I am stickers are beautiful. However, the cursive ones are difficult. Oh, they did not agree with me. They did not agree with me at all. And then I'm done. That was quick. I added some chipboard to the front cover and I love the front cover, so pretty. And I'm just gonna go through each of the pages now so you can get a good look. Um, take any screenshots if you want to you know, save the tips up for later and make your own little album. Oh, naughty glue. Um, and glue everywhere because I'm impatient. I needed something else there. So I grabbed some of the Simple Stories I Am stickers. Now this, if you've got that collection and it's still sitting around and you haven't done anything with it yet, this is a fabulous project to get some of it used up. So I left a lot of blank spaces so that she could put a photo here, a photo there. And yeah, really, really happy with how it worked out. I love, I love that everything's not in a page protector. It's, you know, it's nice to be able to feel the paper and touch the paper. Oh, that sounds creepy. I'm sorry, paper, I don't mean to creep you out, but I'm sure you'll agree. We all love to run our hands over a nice bit of cardboard or chipboard or paper. You know it, I know it. We're all here for a reason. We love paper. Um, this was oh, this was this really cool Heidi Swap swingy thing that I've had for ages and I thought I'd put that in. And yeah, so this was just a nice little positive pick me up little mini album for my dear friend. And I left some page protectors just completely empty so she could at least fit some photos in here. <laughs> um, but she could always add her own page protectors in as well. So yeah. Please let me know in the comments below if you have ever tried a mini album like this or if you'd like to see more mini album type things um, from me. If you haven't subscribed to the Crafty Maven Getaway channel, what are you waiting for? The subscribe button's right there, just right there. I can see it, I can see it, just press it. Um, and also if you wanna see more of me and my loopiness, um, check out my channel, which is Inky Quill. Um, I'll put the details down below. And I'm also, oh no, I can't tell you yet, but I have a surprise on my channel very soon this week. I can't give you any hints yet. But anyway, head over to our Facebook page. The Crafty Maven Getaway has a Facebook page. I'll put that down below too. And yeah, comment below if you'd like this little idea. I'm really pleased with, I think I'm gonna to have to stock up on a few more of these mini albums because they'd be great for presents. Like the the hard bit, especially for someone who wants to get into paper crafting but doesn't know how to, this is great because most of the work's done for them. They just have to print, cut and stick their photos in. So thanks for watching guys for this Mix It Up Monday and I will see you next month with something different. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.